In this video I'm going to talk about the Switch Dock Labs Weather Rack Weather Station. Um, so these sensors, um, these are extremely similar to the ones sold on SparkFun. So for under a hundred bucks you get wind speed, wind direction, and rainfall. Um, it's really, really easy to get this data coming into an Arduino or a Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate a, some wind here. The documentation between Switch Dock Labs and uh, SparkFun are definitely look different, but the stations seem to work the same. So there's a simple Arduino library you can download. Um, this one's called SDL Weather 80422. Um, the pins came set up for a mega, so note how I changed. The an anemometer is on two, rain is three the wind speed is on analog zero. So I'm just going to reach over here and turn my wind direction. Let me give that the spin. Let's go ahead and plug in my fan again here. So our wind speed is right here. There's basically a little cup that fills it up with rain and whenever it switches it sends a discrete pulse. The same with this guy, it's actually pulsing when it goes around. This actually has a bunch of different resistors, so when it's facing a certain direction, the analog signal is a, a known value. And I'll show you that in a second. So I'm going to reach over here and flop this uh, little rain bucket back and forth. You can see that rain total is, goes up. So wiring this thing up is actually pretty simple once you've got it figured out. There are two wires coming from the rain bucket. Like I said, it just it's a contact closure, so whenever it flips, it momentarily will pull pin 2 in this case to ground. So you can see I've got ground here. All three of my sensors have ground on one of the pins. So ground and then inside the sketch, we're pulling these up um, using the inter internal pull-up resistors, which is 10K. So then the second thing we have here is on the inner two wires of this second wire, the inner two wires are for the wind speed. And once again, we're just going from ground to pin 3. Then the outer two wires on this cable are for the wind direction. And the only thing I'm doing here is I'm pulling it up. This is a 10K resistor with 5 volts, so I'm pulling it high. And then, um, of course, the other side of that is ground. And then this is our signal wire going into analog input 0. The documentation shows how the sensors are wired. This shows the anemometer, which is wind speed, is on the center two pins of that plug. And then our um, wind direction is on the outer two pins. It doesn't actually um, seem to matter which ones you wire which. So here's where it shows the wind direction. So the direction in degrees and what the resistance values would be. And then if you had 3.3 volts um, over the 10K ohm resistor, these are the voltages you would see. So you can just stick a, a meter on there and read those. And then the rain bucket. <clears throat> this is a little deceptive. I thought that I needed to put a 10K ohm resistor on there. But really this is done internally the Arduino when we in the library it pulls it up so it's actually pulling it up so all you have to do is hook ground up and then hook the output up to uh, whichever pin you select so why is this cool um, if you haven't noticed I'm building a rack mounted portable weather station solar powered um, 
weather stations can range from expensive to really expensive like hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars and they're not always flexible with if you want to roll them into your own custom thing so This fly is dumb. 